I got candy. <laughs> What's up, fellow Actarians? Um, today, I'm in my uh, 92 Honda Activan HH3, and <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys something today. This was already, um, this was already a, a previous post on the Honda Acti Enthusiast Facebook page. So I am only just making a video showing you um, that it can be done and how to do it. Um, so I am not the uh, person who figured this out. I'm just gonna make a video showing you how to do it. And you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sunglass holder. So if you want a place to put your sunglasses in your Honda Acti truck or van and uh, you got a similar setup to this guy going on here with the rear view mirror. Um, Honda makes a sunglass holder. I'm sure you maybe you've seen these around. Oh, I've got sunglasses in there already. Um, so <clears throat> this pops down. Boink. Put your sunglasses in there. Uh, so I was trying testing it. I have my dragons in there. It's a little bit of a tight fit but they fit so you can see dragons my dragons fit in there and also if you're a big baller and you're rolling around with gift cards and whatnot there's a little slot up on the top that uh it says card and you can slip your card in there or maybe you got some business cards you go around um showing off your coolness uh you can put some cards in there but yeah, I was going to show you guys how to install it because it is not made for the uh, HA3, 4, maybe 5. I'm not sure. I know for sure the 6 and the 7. Um, this does take a little bit of uh, a little finagling to get it to work. But it does work and it looks pretty slick and it can hold your, your sunglasses up here. So you're only going to need a couple tools. Uh, one tool actually, uh, two tools, your brain and screwdriver. And you are going to need longer um, screws because what happens is it creates a little gap in there between the headboard, the, the uh, ceiling and the mirror. Just a slight gap, can't really see it unless you're really looking. So it's not like something major, but th <clears throat> they are M5 by eight, uh, about 20 millimeter. Um, length so you will need those these are on my website and all that stuff so i'll have links down below um, but these are genuine honda genuine honda uh parts from japan so screwdriver let's take the uh, old mirror out hopefully uh Hopefully it comes out smoothly for you. Well, I don't know where that went. So you're gonna need to take those screws out. And I'm gonna have to try to find that, that screw. Uh, okay, so now that we got that out, what this does is this will mount on the base of your rear view mirror. So there's two holes for the screws and then there's one slot um, for one little uh, little pokey thing right there. So it fits in that. Um, I did bend the, uh, I did bend the bracket a little bit. I mean, it comes bent already like that but I bent it just a little bit more so it fit a little bit better. So you could bend it slightly to get a better fit. But now what we're gonna do once it's in there, um, I'm gonna take my, my longer screw and put it in there. And I found it to be easier cause it does wanna move around and it's kind of difficult um, to get it by yourself. To put the screws in the holes already and then hold one screw with your thumb so it doesn't fall out. And then obviously one screw with your screwdriver. Because I want to try to keep it in those holes. 
so it lines up correctly. Um, so we're just gonna cinch those down. And you can get the longer screws from like Home Depot. Home Depot or a auto parts store or whatever. It's no special, it's just a metric, a metric screw. Oh man, your arm does get tired. So we're gonna tighten those up. I'm gonna tighten it just a little bit at a time on each side so it goes in goes up there even. I'm just kind of holding it in place with my finger. There we go. As far as I can hold it with my finger. Oh, my arms. Man. As far as I can hold it with my fingers. And then I'll let it go. And then it should stay in that general vicinity. And then we'll tighten. Tighten them down. And like I said, there's going to be a little bit of a gap. I mean, it's very, very minimal. Hey. And there, there she is. Oh, hunky dory. Make sure it looks straight, looks straight. Let's get you guys a little closer look. And there, there it is. So you can kind of see, I mean, it's very hard to tell. There's a very, very small gap there. That's why you need the longer screw. Well, Cause these aren't specifically designed for the older Honda Actis, but um, yeah, there it is. And sunglass holder. And a big baller rolling around with Starbucks gift cards. I got just pokey. I love me some pokey and some acai bowl. Oh man, up in Washington, my arms are killing me. But yeah, I mean, that was a very uh, super basic how to just to show that you can get this that guy up there. It looks pretty good. But yeah, um, oh, I added some little, uh, I don't know why it's so hard doing this backwards. Uh, little heart hangers in the Acti. But uh, yeah, that was super quick and easy and basic. Um, like I said, I'll have these up. I have them up for sale on my website and all that stuff. So if you want to pick your pick yourself up one, get yourself a cool Honda sunglass holder, uh, you can do that. Um, I got some more stuff coming up. I'm going to do a motor mount. I'm um, doing the headlights, restoring the headlights, going to tint the headlights and do LEDs um, and wiper blades, wiper arms and blades because these ones are pretty shot and I don't want to paint them. So, yeah, that's it. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. If you got any questions, uh, comment and I'll I'll try to get back to it. Cool. Take it easy, guys.